Alright, yo, what's going on everyone? It's Smitty back with another quick video today. So I was informed today that they removed the Minecraft starter bundle off of the Microsoft shop and we need this version of Minecraft to get add-ons on Xbox, but fear not everyone. I was afraid for like 37 seconds, but we found a fix in like two minutes. The starter bundle is still there. It has just moved to a new location. So here's what you have to do now in order to download the proper version of Minecraft. Let's get into it. Step number one, we are going to go to the Microsoft Store and get that loading up, just like we did before previously. Obviously, this is where we have to go to get the starter bundle. But now once you are inside of the Microsoft Store, you want to go to the search bar right here, and instead of the starter collection, now we're going to type in Minecraft Deluxe, and we want to look for the Minecraft Deluxe Edition. It'll say $30. Don't worry, we are not going to buy anything, but the Minecraft Deluxe Edition right here, press on that, and it will look just like this. And once you're in the Minecraft Deluxe version, start scrolling down. Go to where it says Details, then go down to Screenshots, go down to In This Bundle. This is not the right Minecraft, do not press on In This Bundle, don't press it. Keep going down, Ratings and Reviews, go to Add-ons for this game, and you'll probably see Spongebob here, but whatever pops up first here, whatever add-on pops up first under this, go ahead and press on that. Once we are in the Spongebob add-on, then you're going to want to start going down again, go to Details, go to Official Club, go to Works With, and right here we have got the proper version of Minecraft under Works With. You want to press on this first one right here, and once you press on that, it will allow you to install that to your device. If it says not available separately, try to have the normal Minecraft, the Game Pass version, running in the background, and then go ahead and download this. If you have any issues, I can definitely try and help you best at my Discord, but once that is installing, just like this, you want to make sure it is under 1 gigabyte in size. It's like 985 megabytes, but that's how you know it is the right version. So that will finish installing, then you want to press on it, and then after you press on it and you're recently installed, it'll say it needs an update, and then you want to go ahead and update this version of the game. That takes me like 30 minutes here to do this step, but once you come back and it's done updating, go ahead and launch Minecraft again the exact same process as before as shown in the tutorials and then you'll have all your resource packs and skins and add-ons hopefully this helped you all out we're gonna continue finding those loopholes our Microsoft onto us here it's a little scary I was scared for a bit but we found a fix I'll keep you guys all up to date thank you all so much have a great rest of your day it's been Smitty peace out